Life off the grid means autonomy and self-sufficiency. For Jeff, living in remote Alaska also signifies finding love in one of the most unlikely of places. We visit Jeff and Sherry in Nolan to find out how they met and check out how they live without reliance on any public utilities. I came up here in 75 to work on the pipeline. And then a friend of mine, his wife said, well, why don't you just go rent a cabin? You're here all the time. So I did. <laughs> that was 82 and I've been here ever since. And it was just gonna be for a couple of years. And here it is 20, 25 years later, I'm still here. <laughs> this is Nolan, Alaska. This cabin was here. They thought it was built in, in the teens. And from what I can tell, it was built from logs from other cabins. It's 275 miles from right here to, to Fairbanks. So I always say I got 275 miles to go to the grocery store. When it snows in October, or the end of September, I get snowed in. Just park my truck and that would be it until June. And I'd go to town three, four times in the summer and come back with loads of supplies and fuel and oil and filters and nuts and bolts and just about everything you need. There was a watchman for this mining operation over here and the watchman had to go to town to a doctor's appointment so he asked me to watch the cab. I was down there watching TV. I was watching Little League World Series, I remember that. Bang on the door. It was so surprising nobody knocks on the door at a mining camp. I remember I thought an animal had hit the door or a bird had flown into the window so I came out and I remember I threw the door open and I'm looking around and here's this beautiful woman standing down there going, whoa. Because <laughs> I'd thrown the door open and my beard was like this and my hair was like this and my hands were all dirty. And I took a year off from nursing and I wanted to uh, see the country so I traveled from um, Key West to Prudhoe Bay. I really fell in love with the country. And I never left. <laughs> Well, in the wintertime, of course, it's the wood, you know, your heat, you do a little gathering. Water is one of the other things, it takes storage. longer. Food storage is an issue. Bathing. Here's our bathtub. It's a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Just plug the... You have to bring the bathtub in, then you have to warm it up and get the cabin warm. Starting heating up five, ten gallons of water and uh, move the table out of the way so there's room. It's a whole process, but we enjoy it. It's bath day. Bath day is bath day. So that's one day, you know, and just get out and move around a little bit so you don't get completely stir crazy. Double doors. Keep the heat. Dresser, of course, and then shelves and tables, any flat spot gets stuff. Got the speakers. We just got the, the DC lights and their batteries. We went modern. Yes. This is the kitchen area. Just turn on the propane burners and uh, voila. I create all sorts of uh, pies and of course bake our own bread and muffins and biscuits. Yeah, this is where I live. One year led to another and 25 years later I'm still here. <laughs> I just love the country and the lifestyle, the wilderness, that it's pretty spectacular. Oh, it's been great. It's uh, unbelievable. There's not many people get a chance to do this.